Bonjour and bienvenue. Welcome back to Fantasy Maiden's Odd Hideout. I'm your host, Loveless. Last time I left you with a bit of fan service. Now we're gonna be, go and talk to Bert. See what he's been doing. Apparently he's researching really hard. He tries so hard, you guys. Burr. Ugh. Burr, you. What are you reading books for? Well, you know, maybe he's bored or, you know, you guys are stuck in there. You're playing with the fairies. He has nothing to do. You guys gotta stop making things so awkward. Uh, uh, Andre. What is it? Well, that wasn't awkward at all. What are you hiding them for? M maybe, maybe. Well, w when, a, when a boy becomes a man, and sometimes, if he's not asexual, he has urges. Now, having these urges or not having these urges is entirely normal. But some guys get these urges and then they want to look at stuff. Lots of stuff. Like horses. <laughs> what are you hiding them for? It's because uh, it's a book that uh, you're still too young for, see? Oh, fur. What are you reading? A not so good book or something? That's no good. You'd also be too young for it. Hand it over to me. Just for a little? Huh? Studies and research on vampires? Uh. Hey, more importantly, it's great weather today, isn't it? I just noticed she has like, you know, a little cat and a candy and a heart in her thing. So you know what the weather is, Bert, even though the windows have been boarded up? Well, you can still see whether or not it's raining outside. No, uh, well, anyways, it's nothing. See, he's got you know, two candy canes, a pretzel, and a dog. But if you notice, like, his stuff is stuff you can share, but only with, like, you know, yourself and another person. So Cynthia is always being left out. No wonder why she hates him. Well, what now? Geez. Let's try talking to him again. As I said, it's nothing. Nothing to do with y'all, Andre. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Let's talk to this chair. It just has a smiley face on it. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Uh, he doesn't want to talk to us. Let's go in here. Boop. Oh, what's that? An Easter egg has been put here for decoration. <laughs> Easter egg. Cute, isn't it? Let's see. She has wings, a heart, probably because she's dead. A gift, muffins, Cuban. Probably because she's in love with Andre and she's dead. Speaking of which, it's also an egg, right? Could this also perhaps be useful for making a waffle, I wonder? Yeah, okay. Try breaking it apart. Upon breaking it apart, there was a hair ornament found inside. Huh? This is... It is my hair ornament. Oh, they both are wearing hair ornaments. She's got like... Well, they're both flat ones. Cynthia's... Ah, oh, that's right! Anja, do you remember now? It feels nostalgic. This is... Something you gave me back then. Anja, Anja, I've always remembered that time when you saved me. I didn't do something all that great, though. No. I remember the words you told me that time, even now. It was because you were there for me, Angie, that my life was happy. Because you're a ghost, after all, right? Yeah, Cynthia doesn't look good. Maybe she should take some Tylenol. How great everything is for you, isn't it, Cynthia? Cynthia, with beauty, money, and a fiancé, and great happiness, you're on a whole different level for me, aren't you? What? What do you mean? Despite knowing nothing. How could you? Ah, I'm scared. If Cynthia dislikes me now, I won't be able to live in this village anymore. Her family's the richest in this village, after all. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, what's with you all? You are... If you just listen to yourself, you'd find you're just saying stuff. Whether her life is envious or happy or whatever, it's not for you to decide. What happiness is, is something 
each person decides for themselves. Being rich doesn't mean being happy, not even understanding that. You can't do anything but just feel jealous. Oh yes, motiva motivational speaker Andre for the win. And it was that moment Cynthia knew she was fucked. What? What now? What do you mean feeling jealous or anything? Besides, it's for you. What? If you have something to say, then please say it clearly. E enough already. <sighs> Andre, my Kokoro, it's going doki doki. <laughs> Hey, Ange, why do they use Easter eggs for decoration on the Easter? <laughs> because you gotta hide the eggs from Jesus. <laughs> That's because you see, Cynthia, Easter eggs are a symbol of resurrection. They decorate them around to celebrate the resurrection of God on the third day, just like as if being born from a chick's egg. Resurrection? Why was God resurrected? Is God a ghost? I mean... Technically, uh, that's yes. There is the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm sorry, Ange. It was because the previous village I was in had no church. We were really poor, and there was no one to teach us. As for me, you see, ever since I've come here, I was suddenly dressed in pretty clothing, always being called cute. Cute. I don't quite understand all this. It was because I was sold by my true father and mother. My current parents liked my appearance. Everyone says that I'm lucky and envious from becoming rich, but... Cynthia, do you need someone to talk to? Do you, do you, do you need a safe place that you can come to my house? Well, uh, I'm not happy because it was due to my appearance that my father and mother sold me. See, it's nothing envious at all. Cynthia... And so, you see, Alge, I was really happy about what you said for me, because I've always wanted to say that back at them like that. Oh, it's okay, Cynthia. Cynthia, here, you can have this. A cute hair ornament? <laughs> I made it a while ago. Hey, Cynthia, let's be friends. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a bird thing. Cool, bird. Oh, uh, friends. Why, after all, I... Cynthia, I'd like to know more about you. So this is to show that we've become closer. Ange. Huh. It's that hair ornament from that time. My precious hair ornament. Likewise, my feelings, which were of sorrow that time, were reborn into something anew. So sometimes feelings embarrassing, doesn't it? And that's why I really love you, my Andre. My Andre is soft and gentle like cheesecake. <laughs> Pita! Hey, stop this. Huh? A cutesy Mrs. Rabbit fell down, didn't it? This is the rabbit-shaped bread I used for decoration that time. Why would it be here? Obtain rabbit bread. Obtain cleared Easter egg. Somehow, I feel so hungry. I'm starting to feel a little tizzy. I'm so thirsty too. Where's Bear? I wonder. Well, maybe he's worried that you're going on and like you know, withdrawal symptoms. So you're gonna attack him, you know, girl. Okay, let, let's see what this thing is. Can I not interact with it? It's obvious that this is like a trap door or something. That or a glitch. I'm laying on trap door. Okay, Matthew, what are you guys doing here? Matthew, speak to me, bro. I don't really like gathering together. I feel more at ease alone, see? I feel you, bro. You know, just like hanging out there, not really talking to people, but you know, hanging out. What is it, Anne? I, your highness, Ange, I'd like for you to look for Darren. Darren? Uh-huh, he's our friend. Yeah, his chair was the one that was empty during the- yesterday. We haven't seen him recently. Does he look the same as you all? Yes, that's right, Ange, please. For Darren. 
Where should I be begin searching, I wonder? Where did he go? Hmm. Oh, uh, well, we can... Oh, there's a shiny thing. I love shiny things. Hey, shiny thing. What is this? Some clothing, perhaps. There's a picture of some donuts beside it, but that's probably not relevant, right? Well, there's donuts and maybe fur? Contains small clothing. <gasps> Oh my gosh, is it Burr's baby clothing? I guess we looked all over, right? Let's go tell him about it. I guess so. I don't think we really looked all over. Maybe the chicken ate it. Chicken, did you eat Darren? This is a murder mystery. Hmm. Okay, what's with that timer in the corner? Ugh. Hey guys! I guess we won't be able to find him in the end, were we? I'm your highness, aren't you? What happened to Darren? I found this falling down. It's Darren's clothing. There's a picture of some donuts beside it, but... Donuts? I see. It was because it was on Tuesday that we came here. Because it was already past Monday, right? That little one won't be found anymore, perhaps. Your highness, Anjay, thank you. Uh, here, thanks. Tea pudding. Whoa, it's a gingerbread dude just appeared. Uh, is it Wednesday? Is Matthew gonna be- I hope Matthew's the last one, he's cool. Eric, he was sort of a loud fellow, but he feels a little lonely ever since he's begun, doesn't it? Is it- is it because we ate him? Oh, okay, let's exchange. Yeah! Wait, let's do a different voice for him. Yeah, welcome visitor. Do you know a vampire's car? What is it? God, it's nothing but. Just that I heard up, ended up hearing bits of an unpleasant rumor, see? Just that maybe in this house car. Huh, what are you saying now, vampires? There's no way such things would be here. God, that's right. I guess it was really nothing after all. You can forget about it. What was that about? Jeez. Gah, gah, I'm the exchange shop. The exchange shop. Will you exchange anything? Yeah, sure. Let's exchange. Oh, pudding. And the rabbit bread. I'm guessing. God, thanks for coming. I like related to something. Just so sad. Okay. Uh-huh. You are? Hello, Anshay. I'm the cookie fairy. If you like, how about playing the doctor with me? Ah. Uh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, thanks very much. Then as for the topic, it'll be the size of everyone's home. If you get them all right, you'll get the gorgeous present as reward. It's only for now. So by size of everyone's home, you mean to investigate those little, those well-to-do little ones, right? I guess the fir that first would be to question them, right? Okay. Oh god, this is gonna be one of those size puzzles. I don't really like gathering alone. <laughs> Matthew, how about how big was your home? My home was not all that large. It was the second smallest after Anne's. Oh god, I need I need a pen. Second smallest after Anne's, so it's Matthew, then Anne. Thanks. Okay, let's ask Anne. I don't think that's Anne. Oh, that's Olivia. How big was your home? It's bigger than Noah's. Okay, Anne. Anne's home is the smallest of the village. Uh, oh, no. She's the smallest, and his was the second smallest. Oh. Oh, there you go. I heard that Cindy has become Angie's bride. Is that really true? Whoever said that, because of course that's untrue. Cheh. Aw, it's okay, Cynthia. 
Hey, Noah, how about how big was your home? My home, it was bigger than Anne's. Okay, so it's... Math... Matthew... No. Anne, Matthew, Noah, Olivia. Okay. Let's check this boy out. Okay. Yes. It was a cinch. Smallest to largest. Anne. Matthew. Noah. Olivia. Yes! Boom! A donut. A tiny donut. Huh? Anja, do you feel like you know the fairies a little more now? You'll need to know more about them, Anne and Matthew and Olivia, and no, in, in addition. Hey, that's enough already. Mr. Cookie, let's stop talking about this now. Yo, Cynthia, to you the fairies are quite woeful beings, aren't they? You think they're pitiful, right? What do you mean, I wonder? Oh, you've forgotten already how they all thought of you? How great, how great! How great, how great! How great it is for you, Cynthia! It looks like it's slow being eating. How great it is that you're different from us! Cynthia's an obstacle in my way! I don't like this. I'm just let me take your place. Which is why I hate Cynthia. Be gone, you're in my way. Guys, you need to stop, stop taking so much acid. Cynthia is happy. It's not necessarily happiness. <coughs> Stop that already! Uh? Eh? Stop what? Uh, stop what? Angie, why are you staying off in space like that? Has Blind Detective gotten born or something? Uh, uh, what just... You don't seem like you'll play with me anymore for now, Angie. I'll ask later, so it's fun for now, though. Here at Happiness is... Oh, it went back to normal. Gosh, these guys are scary as heck. Alright, let's give you these. Yeah. Let's exchange some more desserts. Yeah! Okay, let's... Let's give the... Wait. Where'd my homegirl go? Is she hanging out with the other bro? Okay. Oh, yeah, there she is. Yay, you're with me. Yes, he looks sad. Let's see. Hey! So, I think it's the three of them. Dude, why are you sad? We're feeding you as best we can. Cynthia doesn't have much an infection level. I'm trying. Am I, am I just a bad wife? I hope I'm not. Cynthia, love me. Oh yeah, I can run. That's right. Heck yeah. Huh? There's no one here. Is there another place in the house one can go, perhaps? You know, girl, it's really hard for me. It won't open, will it? Seems to have been nailed on. When you collect the breadcrumbs, the little bird will show you the way. That's not helpful, Cynthia. Huh? What is this, I wonder? Could Burr have dropped this, I wonder? About the vampire deeply related to the hideout village. There is a particular reason why the vampire legend existed in the hideout village since the old times. That is because the village itself was made by a vampire. The vampire founder of the village, Mr. D, perhaps, is said in legend to be the ancestor of the villagers there. 
It is said that he, treasuring his homeland even after the hideout village became a human village, visits it from time to time and goes around slaughtering the hateful villagers who expelled him. Characteristics of a Vampire Mysterious eyes, probably red, sharp fangs, pointed ears, the thirst for blood, they see the moon as red. As vampires always desire companions, besides just killing villagers, they also invite people to be their companion. And thus it is said that they have techniques for turning humans into vampires. There are two methods of doing this. And one method is... Everything after that is worn out, making it unreadable. Don't quite know what this means, huh? Well, you have, like, a little pointed thing and red eyes. Honestly, are you sure you're not a vampire? Burr! Ah, uh, Burr, I was looking for you. Where'd you go? I was also looking for you, Ange. Andre, I've brought food. Let's have our meal. Oh, hungry. We all helped out burn. That's right. It was about time I was getting hungry too, so let's go then. Let's... Today's party begin! Okay, let's... Oh, shit. What did I do? Okay, Wednesday. It's delicious day too, isn't it, Andre? Oh, no. Are we eating... Olivia and... Even more, more gorgeous than yesterday. No, oh, we're gonna have dessert. Stay street, one stay street. The one who shall deserve to delicious dessert. The one who shall become a delicious treat. Be the child of full of woe. She did kind of complain a lot, I think. Let's dig in. The Wednesday they said she would be bride. It was just like in that poem. Everything written in that book was all prophecy. Ange, please listen to me. Because... I'm now all full and not thirsty anymore. I now feel great. Uh, so I guess it's about time to go to sleep. Let's save for now and then try talking to our friends. Alright, that's it for now. Ugh, this, is, this has been a high tense journey. Ugh. Alrighty. Ciao.